Two and a half million dollars damage to an historic hotel at South Morang, north of Melbourne. Firefighters say a smoke detector saved the life of the publican. Fire broke out in the 109-year-old hotel at 4.30 this morning. Firefighters battled for more than two hours to bring the blaze under control. Intense flames tore through the centre of the building. Most of the two-storey part of the hotel has been destroyed and also the major entertainment area has also been destroyed. Publican Graham Books was asleep inside when the fire started. The licensee was woken by the smoke detector and uh, it basically saved his life. He was the only person in the hotel and raised the alarm. Although 70% of the building's interior has been destroyed, it's hoped the historical facade can be retained. The small outer Melbourne township is coming to terms with the possible loss of its landmark. The owners inspected the damage today. They'd recently refurbished the building. Well, we put a lot of time and money and effort into it. And it's, uh, it's heartbreaking. Uh, but luckily, Graham escaped with his life. The commercial hotel doubled as a community hall. These old photos and things are such around that have shown up in the old horse and cart days. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's sort of, uh, it's a big blow, a big blow to the community. The hotel's owners are still considering if they'll rebuild. A small electrical fault is believed to have caused the fire. James Sutherland, 10 News. Morang ravaged by fire. Damage has been estimated at more than $2 million. And history up in flames. Fire engulfs a Cobb Co Hotel. The historic pub at South Morang, just north of Melbourne. An electrical fault is believed to have started the blaze, causing two and a half million dollars damage. Minutes after the publican fled to safety and raised the alarm, South Morang's historic commercial hotel exploded in flames. Fourteen fire crews battled for two hours as the fire raced through the second storey, spreading to the rest of the building. The blaze, believed to have been caused by an electrical fault, has left a two and a half million dollar damage bill. Hotelier Graham Brooks was woken by a smoke detector around 4 a.m. Uh, it basically saved his life. When daylight came, he could only look on helplessly with his business partners at the ruin he'd called home for two years. Number one, very lucky that Graham escaped with his life. That's the most important thing. Or worry about the financial mess later on. The building was insured, but locals say the memorabilia recording the pub's history was lost. Fortunately, firefighters managed to save the building's historic facade. I think there's a lot of photos and some memorabilia, etc. Obviously, Graham's personal effects. Publicans say it's too early to know whether finances will permit a rebuilding of the historic hotel, but the local community is already vowing to lend its support. It's, it's part of the community. This is where most people meet. Uh, it's a family country hotel, and now it's sort of devastated. Extensive renovations were to begin in a fortnight. If we've got the money, we'll get it back to bigger and better. Emma Power, 7 Nightly News.